A principal, sick and tired of the heat not working properly in his Detroit school building, takes matters into his own hands to fix it. We're talking about Hutchinson Elementary and Middle School on Garland on the east side. And there, sometimes kids are wearing their winter coats in class. Jason Colthorpe live tonight with what he did today. Jason. He sent this letter home to parents, Devin, and it was asking them to email the top brass at DPS demanding better for their kids. And it worked. They put me here to make sure that I get the job done and that these children will not be shortchanged. Since he arrived at Hutchinson six years ago, Stan Johnson has been frustrated with the heat in this building. If we're comfortable here, then the north side is cold. So we make the adjustment, we turn it up on the north side, now the south side is cold. So they can't learn and uh, we're in there with uh, coats on, with sweaters on, heavy sweaters on, and testing started yesterday. So, come on. Finally, he'd had enough and took the bold step of asking parents to email his bosses to get something done. Parents like this woman who has an eighth grade son at Hutchinson. Every day he come home, he says it's cold. Her son has health problems, including asthma, which forced him to miss 42 days last year, and freezing at school certainly doesn't help. Detroit Public Schools, they fell on us. The system is fell on us. The school, how the kids going to learn? How could they get ahead? The outcry from parents worked, and workers will be out the next two weekends to get the heat running right. If the job gets done, Johnson is not worried about any repercussions. I may get in trouble for doing this interview, but right now, I personally don't care because this is about my kids right now, about, not about me. I did get a statement from DPS today confirming those repairs to be happening over the next two weekends. It also said this, take a look. Plans are being put into place to ensure a productive learning environment for all students and staff in the interim. So it looks like they will comply with all of that and get the job done. Reporting live tonight in Detroit, Jason Coulthorpe, Local 4. Jason, I don't imagine he'll be in trouble with the parents who probably are happy that he's speaking out. But if he doesn't get the repairs, uh, if, they don't, if those don't happen, what's next? Well, he calls it a phase two, Devin. He wouldn't say exactly what it is, but uh, he's confident in the man who's in charge of these repairs. But he said he'll revisit this if he's not, and he'll talk to the parents about what he called a phase two. We'll see, Devin. All right, Jason.